Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to talk about fresh release from Special Hobby. This kit comes in a 170 second scale and it copies Tachikawa Ki 54 Otsu or Hikori, so it's a so-called gunner trainer. And as you can see we have this kit in form of commercial sample, so it means you will get exactly the same stuff as what you will see in this video review. And it will be interesting to check what has changed in this particular our boxing because we reviewed the previous boxing and you can find it easily on our YouTube channel. So today we are going to talk about this particular version. So kit number is SH72445 and we have quite beautiful box art here. Box size is standard for this brand and here you can see comparison with my hand. Next on the side you will find some information about the manufacturer. Of course it's made in Czech Republic because special hobby is from Czech Republic and some safety advice on the opposite side. It's a top opening box so it's quite easy to open and here is what we have inside. There is assembly menu on the top and all features, I mean all components are packed into one plastic bag. It's a receivable plastic bag so it's quite easy to open. Just give me a second to do it and we will take a closer look at all the components which are supplied here. So, first of all, I suggest we start with a clear plastic frame, which was packed into a separate plastic bag. And it should preserve the parts from the possible scratches, which is rather nice, I would say. And as you can guess, we have all the necessary canopy and clear parts for this aircraft, but masks or masking templates are not included here. So in case you would like to get a nice paint finish, you will have to do it with your own hands and tools. Or maybe search for aftermarket upgrade because uh, I think a Special Hobby actually produces masks for this and if there is such set we'll review it a bit later. Next we continue with the grey plastic sprue. So first of all let me show you the whole frame. Here you can see that fuselage halves are molded together with the tail fin and rudder. And we have tail wings separate. We have also engine gondolas there. And as for the external features, I would say everything looks rather nice. We have recessed panel lines and rivets. But uh, I'm a bit surprised to see the nose cone pre-molded. I would rather have it as a separate one-piece element. And here inside you can see that there are no guiding elements. But we have uh, some push marks here. Overall it looks fine, but you have to be careful while combining these two halves together. And these are not small parts, even though it's a 170 second scale, as you can see. Next we continue with a smaller frame. So this one is dedicated to the cockpit area. And again, molding quality looks fine. So it's just a matter of careful assembly of all these parts together. And I don't think you will have any issues. As you can see, all the attachment points are quite thin. So it's easy to separate the parts without damaging them. Next we continue with a frame which is dedicated to mix of various parts. So I suggest we zoom in as much as we can. And here we have various landing gear parts. We also have engine inserts. We have various bulkheads and walls, internal walls, which will be inserted in the fuselage, obviously. Note that door is separate and it can be opened on your model, which is rather a handy feature for these models who would like to use it for some kind of diorama. And here you can see landing gear wheels, which are given in two types, which is also handy in order to replicate different versions of this aircraft. Okay. And there is one more plastic sprue. This one is dedicated to wing parts. So overall design is, I would say, rather standard. We have two top panels and one bottom. Note that all wing mechanization elements are pre-molded. We have separate engine gondolas and cooling should be glued out of two parts. And if we check external features, they're pretty much the same as what we saw on the fuselage house. So you can see it's a recess panel lines and they should be uh, good looking on the finished model as well. Inside there are no guiding elements whatsoever. So be careful while combining all this stuff together, especially the cooling parts because this might be tricky due to their size and shape. So definitely do not hurry while working with all this stuff. Next, we have decals sheet packed into the separate plastic bag. Here you can see it. So just give me a second to open it and check what we have here. 
As far as you can see, printing quality is quite nice, but I know some of you will say that Hinamaro, for example, can be copied with masks. It is your decision if you would like to do so, because it might require some additional uh, things to, let's say, cut and install. But here you can see the standard decals, which is... Um, I would say this decal sheet looks good, so in my opinion it has the right to be used in the assembly process and we also have some cockpit decals here, so it's also covered out of the box. And last but not the least is the assembly manual, so this one comes in form of typical special hobby brochure, it is printed in color, as you can see we have short history note on the first page and it's written in Czech and English. Next we continue with the parts map, so only few parts will stay unused, so pay attention so that you use the right elements for your particular build. Next we start the assembly and here it is quite interesting because you can see that some elements are colored and this actually hints on the cockpit shade or cockpit color you have to use for this or that step. And as you can see everything begins with the pilot seat and co-pilot, then we continue with the instrument panel. And here as you remember we have a decal so you have to apply it straight away. And then you install all this stuff onto the cockpit floor. And then we continue with more interior parts here and there. So I would say for out of the box uh, parts and features it looks quite good. Because you get also internals which are placed in this let's say passenger area so it's rather nice. And also all the windows are replicated with separate clear parts so you don't have to do your own upgrades if we can say so. Note that whole interior floor is inserted in between fuselage halves while cockpit is fixed in before, so you have to pay attention to this small feature, let's say, of this kit. Next we continue with the wing assembly, here you have to modify it slightly because as you can see for the camouflage A you have to do these modifications, but it should be rather simple, especially if you are brave enough to go for a twin engine aircraft in 170 second scale, I don't think it will be difficult for you. So we also have nice engines, even though they might look like a simple inserts, but still they deserve a careful painting because they will be visible through the callings. And by the way, here is the separate door. So as you can see, it is depicted in open position, but obviously you can also close it if you would like to. And next we start with the marking guide. So here we have first two marking options in gray and green color. And I think there is one more, yeah. So three marking options in total. In my opinion, this is more than enough for a 170 second scale release. And it should be already available. You can get it on official special hobby web store. Of course, I'll be happy to hear your opinion about such release. Do not forget to write it here in the comment section below. If you like this video, press the like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and I will see in the next video review as usual. Thank you for joining me today and bye.